Hello there, God's own people. Welcome to God's own TV. Okay, so in this video, you will see Pastor Jerry is a sharing a sad but now funny story of some of the things he went through during the early days of his marriage. Now, a lot of times we see some couples, especially kingdom couples, and we start praying God when and we start making them our goals. But one thing we usually ignore is the fact that there were different processes painful processes that made them into the couple that we are now calling our own goal. Now take a look at what Pastor Jerry Eze said and when I'm back, I'm going to talk about the reason I am sharing this video. It's into our marriage and, all that, and I was talking to my wife about something. My wife just cleans the entire table. There were breakable plates and breakable cups on top of the kitchen and all that. And I was talking to her. She just used her hand like this, cleared all of them on the ground. Yes, serious clearing cleared all of them on the ground and everything guang, 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 bro. And, all that. and i'm looking i've never seen that type of thing before because i mean where i'm coming from we're not used to it we're not used to and everything just broke like that oh are you afraid for the story i'm telling my wife hears it when i tell it she laughs she even contributes oh yes because right now her, she's uh, okay you understand what i'm saying <laughs> so she even contributes and you know what I thank God that I'm able to go through what I went through because the Bible says so that you, I'm, I'm, but I must tell you it was not funny. Mm -mm. It's not the kind of thing that I said, I, I told the people who came on Wednesday, how do you, I was on the streets of London with my wife and went to shop and that time, eh, Kai. And by the time we were there, I said something to my wife because I asked her, ah, you should have told me you were going. And she said, eh, that, why am I saying that? Why am I doing this thing? And I, I thought it was a joke. My wife left me in the shop and went home. I don't live in London. I don't know my way around London. She left me inside the shop and went home. I have stayed there, stayed there, stayed there. I didn't know how to go. And I called her friend and I said, please, oh, I am here. Oh. I don't know how to. I'm calling my wife and my wife is not picking the phone. And her friend called my wife and asked her, ah, ah, and where are you? I was like, she's like, ah, she's in the house. Is there anything the problem? She said, ah, well, you left your husband in the man. He said, eh, that she, he will find his way and come back. Have I found before? I've never found my way to come back. And the truth of the matter was that that was how she left me. Her friend had to be the one that would bring me back. And all. You can imagine that type of life. You can imagine that type of life. One day my wife looked at me. One day I was talking to her. She said, hi, then you have a problem. I told her, yes. What is the problem? She said, the problem is that you like peace too much. <laughs> Heaven bear me witness. She said that. She said, you like peace too much. I said, I like peace too much. She said, yes. You like peace too much. I'm praying with my wife one day and then we're praying, praying, praying. And she says to me, oh, my time is almost gone. And she says to me, um, while the prayer was going on, she, she touched me, summarize. <laughs> and she told me, say, summarize. And that day I looked at her, I said, even with God too. And the truth is that, but right now, I got married to one of the amazing prayer warriors you can ever think. Okay, welcome back. I really want to know what you think about this video, this confession by Pastor Jerry Easy in the comment section below. Now, the reason I am sharing this video is because in this generation, we are very quick to give up on things that we believe are not working. Now, look at what Pastor Jerry Easy went through. There is no way he will explain that to anybody and they would not support him had it been that he left his wife but he did not he kept on hoping he kept on praying and god gave them a turn around god touched the heart that needs touching he worked on their relationship and they are better off today doing great things for the kingdom and i also remember that reverend funke felix adijumo also shared how she showed her own husband pepe during the early years of their marriage especially when he started the ministry and god spoke to her god warned her and she changed her ways so the question is are we trusting god to touch people are we trusting god to help us in our relationships our dealings our day-to-day -day activities all right i really want to know what you think in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to this channel and before i go let me remind you that god loves you so much he loves you forever bye